Thanksgiving real productive. That's what I love for me. I love when I'm in that mood. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Honey K and make sure you subscribe because we live over here. Period. I'm hopping on camera with this new hair. What y'all think? If y'all want to see me get this hair installed, make sure y'all go check out that video. This wig is from Shein, so make sure y'all go ahead and check that video out. That video will be up before this video, so go check that out for your girl. Link will be down below in the description box to that video. Your girl is ready for work, y'all, and I am ready early, so I just wanted to hop on camera real quick and update y'all because today is Friday, and I've done a lot during this week, which I did not vlog. I did catch a little bit of clips for y'all, but I wasn't vlogging, so so I'ma just update y'all real quick, get y'all up to speed, and then we are gonna continue with our night and go to work tonight. So first things first, I did a little shopping during the week. So I'ma show y'all what I got. So I did go to Louis, y'all. I got me some new sunglasses. I already done opened it up and stuff though. And the box opens like this. And then it comes in this blue, this like navy blue Louis Vuitton case, which open it up. Very soft fabric inside. The dust bag that it comes in. And I did wear them already, y'all. I wore them when me and my boyfriend went to brunch, which I'm gonna get y'all up to speed with that. These are the glasses, and I showed y'all a little clip of me deciding between the two. And I was actually on FaceTime with my boyfriend. He was like, I like the other pair, not this pair. I have a very small framed face. The other pair were really just way too big for my face. The shape just wasn't giving y'all. But I really, really like these. I like these a lot. These are really cute. Details, okay? And then, and then there's details at the end of the glasses as well. And it has like these black and gold details. Like it's just super detailed and super cute. I really love these shades. I did purchase two things things from Louis but one of them has to come in the mail because they didn't have it in store this is the receipt to my sunglasses so these sunglasses were after tax they were $837.68 I got them from the Beverly Center and they are called the LV link square FR black E I'm sure that's short for something FR Black E. I don't know what it's for, but I'm sure you can find them by typing in LV Link Square sunglasses. I don't know. And then I bought another bag, but there was like a whole situation the last time I was in Houston. If y'all watched that video, I did take that video down so it's not up anymore, where the Airbnb I was in got robbed. So they stole my Neverfull. And I really love that Neverfull bag. So. Yes, I spent another $2,222.85 for another one. And I did. And I'm literally going to have to wait a month for my purse. I'm kind of upset because spending $2,000 on a purse and then having to wait an entire month for it is a bit much. But whatever. And then this is from Prada. This was a gift. But I think it's cute as hell. Prada shirt. I probably shouldn't have thrown that bag like that because now it's wrinkled. That wasn't smart. Black and white. It's like cropped, cute, prodigy. Let me see how much this was, y'all. I don't even have the receipt. Damn. It was around seven something, I think eight after tax. Personally, I don't know if I would spend seven to eight hundred dollars on this shirt. And I'm like, it's white. It got black, but it's white. I don't do very well with white. So and then I got my National Girlfriend's Day gift, which was my big bouquet of flowers, which I still have them in there right now. I'm honestly trying to keep them alive as long as I can because they're just so freaking beautiful. Like, my boyfriend is the best, literally. The roses are so freaking huge. I'll insert a video for y'all.
And then I got my chain, which I'm wearing right now. I literally got the chain and the flowers the same day that we went out to dinner and stuff. So it was super cute and it was just like a vibe, y'all. A little explanation behind my chain. My boyfriend's name, his rapper name is Hood Trophy Bino. His whole thing is trophies, just like how my whole little thing is like a honey pot. He has a trophy chain that says Bino, and then he got me my chain that has a trophy and it says honey. So that was really cute and sentimental. We went to dinner at Mastro's. Honestly, the steak was really good. The mashed potatoes were okay. Mac, okay. The drink was okay. Like, everything was okay, and it was literally like a $500 dinner. The best thing on my plate was definitely the steak, though. And then after we went there, we went to the VR game thing, and it was so much fun. Inside of the game, when you kill all the zombies in the room, you have to find the generator, press the red button, and go to the green zone when you see it. That's how it looks So then the next day we went and got massages. The massages were great. And we got brunch. Brunch was fire. Then we just freaking spent time together, y'all. It was just really, really needed. Because he's literally going back on tour in a few days, like two days. And I also stopped doing tarot. I did stop doing tarot only because it doesn't work very well when that's your only form of transportation. And it's kind of like, why would I be making myself Uber? when somebody's booking my car and i decided that i'm not gonna get a new car right now at the moment it's just not necessary and a car note is just not what i want i don't want to add another bill i decided tarot is not going to be the best option at the moment for me until i do get a new car now once you do have more than one car tarot is a good another source of income but for now 
it's just not gonna work for me now you guys are all caught up and up to date like i said today is friday night and we are going to work tonight and y'all can see your girl does not have no nails on that is not even like me y'all but i am lucky enough to get sent packages like this from wonderful companies we got a package of press on nails we got a couple of them we got one two three four five we got five different ones i'm about to show y'all all of these and these press on nails are from joe Fay fashion thank you so much to joe Fay fashion for sending me these press on nails and i also want to let y'all know before i even show y'all these nails i am doing a giveaway with joe Fay to give away to one of my beautiful subscribers some press on nails because for times like this like me as of right now your girl needs some press on nails you never know when you're gonna need some so i am gonna be doing a giveaway all i want y'all to do is comment down below y'all favorite pair of joe Fay fashion press on nails that i'm about to show y'all so when i pick the winner at random but you must be following me on all social media platforms including subscribe to my youtube following me on my instagram following me on tiktok and then go ahead and comment your instagram with your favorite pair of press on nails so that i can dm you on instagram girl and send you some press on nails or guys okay anybody is welcome to enter this giveaway make sure you don't mention anything about a giveaway down below in the comments though of course and if you're not able to win this giveaway don't worry i will have the joe Fay link down below in the description box so you can go ahead and shop with them y'all they are on amazon as well so y'all already know what that means y'all gonna have fast shipping and multiple multiple different nails to choose from they do come in different packaging styles so one of the packaging styles is like this box super cute and then the other packaging style is this black box i'm gonna show y'all all of these because these are super cute oh so opening up the package your nails come like this and you have the option of using the sticker one i believe you just put these on the nail and then peel it off and like the stickiness goes on the nail and you just stick the nail on i personally don't ever use these so i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure that's how it works it has 20 of these and then it also comes with a joe Fay fashion how to use it explains to you how to use it with the adhesive tabs which are these that i just described and it also tells you how to do it with the glue both are six steps and it also tells you how to take them off as well and it gives you little side notes like never pull nails off directly it'll damage your real nails and things like that then it comes with this little packet and it has everything you need to put the nails on it comes with the glue this little wood stick which to push your cuticles back and then a nail filer which is great to use before applying the glue to your nails and then it comes with these little things i'm not sure what these are for but they peel apart i don't know if this is to like wipe the glue or like what but if y'all know y'all know because i don't know. all of the nails come with all of these inside each package so that's really convenient you don't have to worry about getting anything let me go ahead and show y'all all of the nails so this is the pack that i opened this is the first pack these are really cute y'all if y'all can tell like the details on camera it's like a two-tone gray french tip this is actually fire so this is the second pack one of the nails did fall inside of here that's why it's missing from here but these nails are super cute and this one is my fave with the heart charm with the two little pearls on the side that's really cute it's definitely giving something i would get on my nails for sure and then the third pair are these cute shorties they're the color blue these are super cute plain jane but you can never go wrong with some plain jane shorties okay it's definitely giving classy same as these plain jane cute shorties giving classy they're like a pink nudish color i don't know if the camera's picking up the correct color but they're a pink nude and then last but not least these are definitely giving statement look at me i'm not afraid to shine y'all they got so many different types of press on nails clearly as y'all can see with so many different styles so these are definitely giving 
look my way okay they have different varieties of long nails and short nails as y'all can see go ahead and comment down below your favorite pair that you see here and i will make sure to dm you on instagram and i will definitely be shipping over your joe Fay press on nails period they're just fire they got so many different kinds make sure y'all go ahead and check the link down below in the description box so you can go ahead and shop with them i'm excited to see who wins these press on nails thank you again to joe Fay fashion for sending me these nails i definitely would put on a pair tonight i'm gonna go ahead and thug it out because i don't want to wear a pair and the girls want the pair that I'm wearing. So I'm gonna do my giveaway. Thank you again, Joe Fay Fashion, for sending me these nails. All of the links will be down below in the description box. Now that I showed you guys the nails and you probably entered the giveaway by now, I am gonna go ahead and put some clothes on and go ahead and head to work, y'all. So let's get right into this vlog. Now that y'all are all caught up, Let's get right into this vlog and go to work tonight. Hopefully we make a bag tonight. My boyfriend is coming to the club tonight to shoot a music video. So I'll see y'all once I get to the club or when I get home, either one. I love him so much. Y'all think she love me? <laughs> she already got the bouquet. Now she got the long ones. Cause she said she wanted the long ones. Mm -hmm. And I can't believe she's that picky. She got a bouquet and she wanted Babe, take your shoes off. What are you doing? I forgot. Y'all, my flowers are dying and I watered them this morning, y'all. So sad. Wow. That's enough. Okay, y'all, so I got my nails done. They're so freaking cute, right? Like, OMG, I love them. My first time getting duck nails, they like short duck though. And we just went crazy. And if y'all see the money on the floor right here, <laughs> That's because when we was coming home from the club last night, my boyfriend had ones in his hand and he just started throwing them in the car. So I just put them right there, but I'm about to clean that out because I cannot be driving around with ones in my front seat. Like, no. I'm on my way home though, so I'm about to put them in a bag or something when I get to the house. What's up y'all? So it is now Saturday night and I need to be headed out the door at this moment. I'm ready for work. I did a really light makeup look. I just did brows and foundation. I'm really tired as hell. I don't wanna go. I kinda have to go because I have a bag with another girl still that it has not been counted for. So I can't even do yesterday's money count, but I thought about it and I think what I'm gonna do this weekend, I'm gonna do something different. And y'all let me know down below in the comments if y'all like this way better or how I do my money counts every single night. But what I usually do is, y'all know I do my money counts every night. I do my money count or like the next morning, I'll do my money count for the night before. So what I'm gonna do this weekend, I'm gonna do a money count at the end of the weekend. Like if I work Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is what I plan on doing. Well, actually I can't even work Friday, Saturday, Sunday because there's a hurricane supposed to be coming on Sunday. If y'all heard about this crazy ass Hillary, what I think it's called. Like, when do you hear about a hurricane in LA? 
I really think it's just gonna be a really bad flood. We gonna see y'all. Hopefully it's not nothing crazy. I, people been going to the grocery store, preparing, all type of stuff. Like, and I'm over here about to go to work the night before, literally. And it's supposed to start raining at eight in the morning. But I was kind of just like, shoot, this is my last night I'm gonna be able to go to work. Cause I don't even think we're gonna be open tomorrow. I don't, I'm not sure. But that being said, I'm gonna just do my money count for these two days then. Damn, this vlog might be hella boring if I'm not gonna be working. What am I gonna be doing? I don't know, y'all. We gonna figure something out. I don't know. I always end up doing something though. So yeah, I'm gonna just do my money count at the end. Like, okay, so this weekend we made this much and see how much I made for the whole weekend. We'll do it, see if y'all like it. If not, y'all wanna know what I made every single night. We could do it like that. But this vlog, I'm gonna just do it like this weekend we made this much but let me go ahead and head out y'all i'm not trying to be rushing i'll see y'all once i get to work or once i get back home what's up guys so it's sunday now and it's supposed to be a hurricane going on right now but it's really just raining it's la like what are y'all talking about hurricane that i kind of knew it was really just gonna be rain and it's not even like flooding but it is raining. It honestly could get worse, but it's not giving that. Like, there's no wind or nothing. It's just raining, so. I did just drop a video, so if y'all didn't watch my last vlog, go watch that vlog, period. The goal is always to drop two videos a week, but, you know, it don't always work out like that. I'm gonna do my money count, but I'm gonna do it when I get back home. Right now, I wanna go get an acai bowl real bad i don't care about the rain or nothing i want to outside you will so bad but that's what i'm gonna do and i'm gonna go to the grocery store yeah it's giving real chill vibes i did get this dresser that i want to build to go under my little vanity area but i honestly hate building shit like i am not a bob the builder type of bitch when it comes to like actually screwing and drilling stuff together which is what i think you have to do for this I'm not that girl. I don't like putting stuff together. Y'all, so last night I was feeling my hair a lot, right? But like when I don't have makeup on with this hair, I feel like I don't like it. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it in that long. Oh my God. Not me breaking a charm. When did I do that? Ugh, the ghetto. Anyways, let's go get this acai bowl because I want it real bad. Y'all, so I'm at the grocery store and it's raining hard as hell as y'all can see and they got this man getting these carts out and it's so crazy because i'm just sitting here thinking i used to be doing that like i used to get carts i used to work at smart and final for like a month when i was like 19 or oh, was that 19 i was like 18 or 19 i worked at smart and final for a month and they had me getting carts outside y'all my little ass getting carts <laughs> yeah, i didn't stay at that job long i put my two weeks in i think i only got like two paychecks from there like 100 degree weather i was working there during the summer so like i could just imagine doing it in the rain i don't even like i don't like the rain so being wet outside pushing cards like bruh but you know you gotta do what you gotta do regardless just like i was out there sweating in 100 degree weather you gotta do what you gotta do because i started working when i was 15 years old i don't know if y'all know that but i started working when i was 15 right before my 16th birthday i had got my first job which was mcdonald's yeah, your girl just been trying to get to the bad girl whole life, okay? LA is really just not used to rain and stuff, y'all, because I'm driving down the street. I see people with no jacket on outside, short sleeves on, shorts, sandals, all of that. Like, I low key was finna leave the house with no jacket, but I had, I was like, let me take a jacket because I am about to go into the store and I gotta walk through the parking lot. But I'm still low key just like that because why did I put slides on? I didn't even think about it. Like, I thought about a jacket, but I didn't think about my shoes. Like, girl, why do you have slides on? But literally, this dude right here, look, I'm telling y'all. They got on shorts and, like, no. Everybody act like it's not pouring rain. <laughs> like, what? Y'all know LA is not used to these type of conditions. Not supposed to be no hurricane in LA. Like, what? Y'all really got slides on. <laughs> I was not playing. Oh, this is crazy. It's not that bad, though. It ain't that bad. I'm back at home, I got everything I needed to get from the grocery store. I also got my acai bowl. So, I'm about to eat this right now. I got strawberry, kiwi, pineapple. I know you lying. 
They put bananas on my shit. I said instead of bananas, I want pineapple. Why would they do that? I'm about to have to pick all these bananas off. Besides that, I got honey and granola on here as well. When I was in the grocery store, we got a freaking warning saying like earthquake warning. And then I got on Instagram real quick and I saw somebody say like they felt the earthquake. I didn't feel no earthquake. I don't know. Anyways, I'm about to eat this and check back in with y'all. Alright y'all, so I did my money count. On Friday when my boyfriend came to the club, I don't know if I told y'all, but I ended up leaving early. So some of my money on Cash App too. Let me see. So on Cash App, I have $792, which is from the bag that we had to split with from my boyfriend's section. It was three of us in that section. Some of this money is from that, and then some of this money is from last night. This money count, the total is for both days, Friday and Saturday, like I told y'all. Let me know if y'all like this better or if y'all like when I do every night separate. I think I like when I do every night separate just so I know, like, okay, Friday you made this much, Saturday you made this much. But instead, when I do it like this, it's kind of like Friday and Saturday you made this. You know? And the rest of the ones, we got 500. We got one, two... Three, four, five. That just fell. On top of the seven ninety two is twelve ninety two, and then we got leftover ones. We got nine dollars, so twelve ninety two plus nine is thirteen oh one. Then we got our big bills, which we got twenties, one hundred, two hundred. 300 400 so 1301 plus the 400 in big bills is 1701 so we made 1701 that's cool or whatever i would have went to work tonight and been able to add more to that like i said y'all know the weather conditions out here and the club is actually going to be closed i'm about to just cook my food now yeah that's the vibe right now Okay guys, today is, today is Wednesday, and is it Wednesday or is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday actually, and I'm eating celery and peanut butter while I cook this food. If y'all are like, why are you eating this? Double dipping in the peanut butter is crazy. I'm literally about to throw this peanut butter away after I eat this, because it's about to expire in four days. So I'm like, at least I'm eating it right now, and then I'm gonna just throw it away. I've been trying to be on my healthy tip though, y'all. And I feel like the body has been bodying. Okay. I've really been going through it mentally. I need to get a hobby or something, right? So, like something that doesn't just revolve around making money. Something that I actually genuinely enjoy doing or something that makes me genuinely feel better there's a lot of times where i'm at home i'm just like okay well i'm gonna just edit and if i'm not editing then i'm just gonna go to the club and then it's like if i'm not doing that then i'm sleeping or i'm cleaning it's just always like work 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 type and i think mentally it's really healthy to have some type of hobby something that you really enjoy doing and i was working out consistently before and i was doing yoga before and i really felt like i was in a better mental when i was doing that so i want to start back doing like yoga and going to the gym and stuff but i also don't want to like wear my myself out either so like i'm gonna find a balance so yeah that's just like a thought that i've been having during this week that i share with y'all see what y'all think and y'all update on the hurricane it literally was just a regular rain day like it didn't even rain for two days it only rained for one day the next day was sunny rain was gone there was no hurricane y'all it was barely a, a rainstorm to be honest at least that's in my area I did see some videos of some places hella windy, flooded. I posted this really cute picture. All the girls are sharing with my flowers and stuff. I love a girl that's a girl's girl, okay? We just want the girls to be happy. We all want each other to be happy. Oh, 
I got another Dago trip coming up, y'all. I'm so excited. The gang about to be back together. Like, I miss them. I am gonna get another Turo. I don't know what kind of car I'm gonna get this time. <laughs> Yo, my best friend is funny as fuck. Oh my gosh. Anyways, y'all, I have to finish cooking this food and I, I was just chatting it up with y'all for a second. Just the thought of the day. Also, I am gonna make my facial appointment this week as well. I think I'm gonna make it for Friday. I'll probably check back in with y'all when I, I'll probably check back in with y'all tomorrow. Good morning, lovely people. Today is Friday, y'all. We are starting the new weekend off. This is basically, as y'all can see, a two weekend vlog. It's early today. Y'all haven't worked during the week at all. Last time I've been to work was Saturday, which was before the hurricanes. It's 10.30 right now in the morning and we're starting our day. So we have a couple things we have to do. We, um, I'm about to make me some avocado toast for breakfast and then I'm gonna go to my facial appointment. After I go to my facial, I need to pick up my car. I dropped it off earlier this morning at like nine o'clock to get serviced and they literally called me and was like, babe, your car is fine. You don't even need service. So I'm like, well, my brakes was squeaking. So I thought I need new brakes. Usually my car tells me though, like my car will tell me like new brake pads but i felt like my brakes are squeaking why are they squeaking like so i had just took it to the dealer or whatever and they're like no we're just gonna put some brake fluid and then you can just come back and pick it up so after i leave my facial appointment i'm gonna go pick my car up come home i'm gonna do some laundry and i need to edit some video i need to edit two videos which i'm going to finish and then we're gonna go to work tonight hopefully i have time to cook me something to eat as well but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time for all that. Oh, and I need to make another quick stop, but we're not gonna talk about that yet because that's gonna be for another day, another vlog. So, y'all, I really, 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 really want my hair done. Like, so bad. It just, I think this color is too close to my complexion. It's throwing me off. Like, I'm about to cook my food right now, though, and then we're gonna go to our facial. Because I don't have time to get my car before my facial, so I'm going to have to just Uber. Can we get together? Y'all, really really so I made it. And I did not bring a headband for my hair. But y'all, y'all would not believe. Oh my god, me coming here, it was such a freaking hassle, y'all. Like... Ooh, I have to tell y'all, I was 20 minutes late. Like, I'm so grateful she's still taking me because why are you 20 minutes late? That's insane. But I'll tell y'all about that later. It was so annoying, but I made it and she's still taking me. Thank God. So let's get this facial. Can we get Okay guys, so I just finished. I honestly need to uh, brush my lashes real bad right now because like the steam and stuff. My camera's literally about to die. I got a different kind of facial though this time than I got last time. And my face feels a little bit tight right now, but we'll see. I'll talk to y'all once I get to the car though. So I got a pull over.
what's up y'all so it's later in the night now and it is friday and we are ready for work we ready for work hella early we edited two videos we got our car done we got our facial we did a lot today the last load of laundry is in the washing machine i did three loads of laundry today folded them up put them up everything this third one is not put up because it's in the washer, but I'm about to put it in the dryer before I go. I still have 30 minutes until it's time for me to leave the house and I'm already ready. Like, it's giving real productive. That's what I love for me. I love when I'm in that mood. That's what things are just going good for me. Honestly, I want to do a photo shoot. I was thinking about it. I definitely want to do a photo shoot, but I just don't know when. And I'm trying to find a photographer that I want to do it with. I might just go to who I always go to. I feel like a lot of good photographers are in like New York and Houston. Don't get me wrong, there's some really good LA photographers. My photographer is so easy to work with him because he just be giving me my rate for how many outfits. It just be easy to work with people you already worked with because you already know how they work like when i did try to switch up my cameraman at first i remember he flaked on me he was our late he said he got pulled over i don't know if y'all watched that video that was definitely in a vlog i was on rodeo trying to do a photo shoot and like the photographer was so bs anyways i'm supposed to be getting my hair done on monday but it just like really ridiculous to me if i get my hair done on monday because that means i only have had this hair in for a week and two days because i'm just over this color like i just i'm not feeling it i need something darker either something darker or lighter but it's friday so hopefully we make a bag tonight boo that sucks i swear with youtube i really try not to let the numbers affect me so i feel like i need to switch up my content or something but then it's like if it's not broke don't fix it you know like my content does well now so it's like if i switch it up too much it might not do good my vlogs are really what eat like my vlogs eat so i don't know maybe i need to promote myself more if you're not gonna tell the world to go watch you who is anyways these are random thoughts that i was having i'm gonna talk to y'all later when i get to work or when i get back home either one let's go make this money what's good y'all it's honey k and we're doing a tiktok of work tonight we're going to the trap you already know what's up if you haven't subscribed to my youtube make sure you go do that but let's see how tonight goes. Friday night, we have the trap. Let's get it. Like 2018, it used to be really good, and you would need a partner. Yeah. Now. All right. So leave her alone. Leave her alone. What she knows of, she she don't. So this is the money I made from last night. We about to run it through the money counter and see how much we made. After running it through the money counter, we got $8.27 on a Friday night, y'all. That's it for today's little vloggy vlog on TikTok. Trying something new. Let me know what y'all think. Bye! What's up, y'all? So today's Saturday now, and I did my money count. I showed y'all the little TikTok that I made. Right now I'm eating watermelon and I'm cooking me some dinner so I can eat before I go to the club. I've been cooking a lot lately. I've been cooking like every day. But after I did my money count and stuff, I went and got my nails done. Well, my toes, not my nails. My toes, I got I got black French tip. You know my girl Jenny gonna do her big one every my hair is next, y'all. This vlog, y'all won't see my new hair, but the hair video will be up after this vlog. That's really it for now, y'all. I'm gonna just check back in with y'all before I go to work tonight. It's Saturday. Last night was Saturday. 
And to be completely honest, it was an okay Saturday. It wasn't a lot going on, but there was something going on. There was this section that I was in, y'all. Oh my God, I gotta tell y'all about it because people be off of, it has to be drugs. It has to be drugs. I'm gonna just give y'all a rundown of my whole little night. Why not? I first get to work. I'm like, I'm not drinking tonight. We gonna see how tonight goes, whatever, whatever. I'm chilling. Something tells me like get on stage, the little side stage. So I just get on the little side stage and I start making some money. And then I got off the stage. I was walking around and stuff. It wasn't much going on. I went to go sit down. As soon as I sat down, I saw this table coming in to sit down. Like they had bought the section that I was sitting in. So I was like, okay, let me get up. But I was like waiting until they came right there. So like, as soon as I was about to get up, he was like, you don't gotta get up. I want you to stay right where you at. I was like, okay, and then they table came, they people came, they was all sitting, they bottle came. I was right there just sitting in the section. All the girls start lining up, you know, trying to get picked for the section, whatever. And the dude like counting hundreds. I'm like, what if I can throw a bag, period. I'm in the right spot at the right time. Okay, that's what I'm thinking, you know? So then I'm talking to the girl, the dude girlfriend or whatever, introducing myself to her and stuff. And so I think they had got like, a couple hundred. They didn't even get a thousand. But they start throwing their money or whatever. It was four girls. Honestly, it didn't make any sense. I was ready to pick the bag up because I'm like, okay, y'all ready to pick the bag up? They like, yeah. One of the girls was looking for a sweeper to pick the money up, but then like, I see the dude got some more money. So I'm like, okay, let me go dance right here. And he was fucking with me. Honestly, he was throwing all his money at me. I feel like I could have just danced there by myself, which I ended up doing after we picked the money up because he still had ones and he was like, I don't like leaving the club with ones. So I want you to stay right here and dance. We picked the money up. I stay right there to dance by myself for him and his girlfriend. And he threw a little bit and then he start like grabbing my hair Like moving it from off my butt like so he could see my butt or whatever So he was like doing that and I wasn't saying nothing at first Then he like grabs it like this and like starts twisting it around his I said wait, what are you doing? Like, excuse me I'm like, um, no Then he started trying to like fake air hunt me So I moved, I'm like, I'm not dealing with that Like I don't care if you're throwing money at me so I move and I look at his girlfriend. I'm like, oh, y'all lit. And she was like, girl. Her eyes closed. Like, she can't even see. She like, what you say? I'm like, oh, nah. Y'all lit as hell. I'm just like, let me pick this money up. Because I think they off something. And the dude was just like, really just dancing around. Doing it up. Doing the most. Living his best life, I guess. I picked my money up. I don't know where I went. I think I was walking around. So I found a couple to dance for. So I had danced for that couple. They had like $100. They threw that shit fast. The girl was just dropping them. As soon as I started dancing, I was like, period. I love that. And then I'm walking around again. At this point, it's like, I'm dancing here and there for money, you know? Then it's this couple I see, they had like $300. So I saw this girl dancing for them, but they didn't throw no money at her. And they literally walked away from her. And so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna try. Like, just cause they didn't like her, don't mean they not gonna like me. So I walk over there, I'm like, hey, how are you? Talk to the girlfriend first, you know? Hey, how are you? Like, where y'all from? Y'all been here before, blah, blah, blah. Small talk. Just gave that vibe, you know? It was just them two, they was on some chill shit. So I'm like, let me speak and, you know, give that vibe first. So we was having small talk, so then I started dancing for her and she started throwing the money at me. And some people be like that, you know, some people want you to talk to them first, but then it also be like, some people don't want to talk to you. Kind of be like, you really got to read the room. I say that a lot. I feel like not every customer wants to talk. I've had customers before tell me like, just turn around. Like they don't give a fuck what my name is, nothing. But a lot of the times when I introduce myself and I talk to people, a lot of the times that works better for me. I don't talk a lot. I'm not trying to talk your ear off, but I'll introduce myself and, you know, ask you where you're from and stuff like that. And then so she ended up throwing her whole little 300 at me while I was dancing for her and her boyfriend. I was like right next to the section that I was in earlier that night with the, the people that I think was on drugs. And I look over one of the girls they was with. She's on the floor. Her dress is all the way up. Panties falling down. Just um drunk mess. Like... But she was so delusional, like, I feel like she had to be off some type of drugs because, like, even her people couldn't, like, get her to get up, get her out the club. Like, they had to call security. Security telling her, like, get up, you know, you need to. She's on the floor, y'all. Not even in the seat. On the floor, talking about, leave me alone. Security trying to pick her up. So, like, it's two security guards 
holding this girl up, like picking her up, dragging her outside, and she's trying to fight them. Like, stop touching me. Where am I? Her boyfriend that she was with was there. I'm just like, anyway. Like, you gotta handle your liquor. And then it's like, even if it's not liquor, if you off something else, don't do drugs, y'all. Because they'll have you doing stuff like that. But if you are gonna do, do it in a safe environment. You just never know what could happen to you. You out in the club. That's how stuff be happening to people. Like, know your tolerance for certain stuff. I pray she made it home safe, though, because that's scary to me. I don't like stuff like that. I thought I did better last night when I was making the money. I was like, oh, I'm doing good. But now that the money's straight, it's not giving that I did that great. But you know what? These ones are hella straight too, so it probably look like less than what it is. We gonna see. I might start editing a little bit, but I might not. This vlog probably about to be hella long and complicated to edit. So I really wanna start editing this vlog now. All right, y'all. These is basically my ones. I don't have no big bills. We about to see how much this is. BRB. Okay, y'all, so in leftover ones, we have 50. This is 42, so that's 92. And then we have this. We have 100, 200, 300, 4, 5, 6. So 692 is what we made on a Saturday. I, once I started straightening it, I was like, yeah, I made less than I made yesterday. We did what we could, y'all. So 692 on a Saturday. Grateful grateful but i need to grind harder i'm not gonna be hard on myself about it i'm just gonna try to go harder tonight it is sunday so hopefully it's still like a lot of people in the club tonight we'll see because sometimes it'd be those nights where you least expect and you make the most money so we gonna see how tonight goes y'all